What does it take to yield 100 bushels per acre in soybeans? Clay Campbell and Giles Farms know. In the 2018 Southern Indiana High Yield Soybean Challenge, both farms had entries topping the 100 bushel mark. The Giles family farms near Gentryville, Indiana, and their entry with 37A78X yielded 100.6 bushels per acre. Clay Campbell is located between Fort Branch and Owensville, Indiana. He entered the 2018 Pioneer High Yield Challenge with P40A47X, which came across the scales at 116.8 bushels per acre. Both operations will admit that soil type plays a large role in achieving great yields, but they're learning things that they can apply to their other soils as well. Things like the importance of selecting a high yielding variety with good standability and disease resistance, planting early with a good seed treatment, paying attention to soil fertility, and applying fungicides and insecticides to protect yield. Planting soybeans in mid-April or early May can lead to earlier flowering, additional nodes, and maximum sunlight capture throughout the growing season. Campbell planted his entry April 18th, while Giles's was planted on May 1st. They both know high yield soybeans will take up and remove large amounts of nutrients. For instance, to supply all of the plant and seed needs, a soybean field producing 80 bushels per acre may take up 416 pounds of nitrogen, 76 pounds of phosphorus, 256 pounds of potassium, and 26 pounds of sulfur. They pay attention to their soil test levels, but they also apply poultry manure and supplement in-season crop nutrition with foliar feeding. So what does it take to break the 100 bushel mark? Curiosity, planning, the right products, hard work, good weather, and a little luck. On behalf of the Southern Indiana Pioneer team, congratulations to everyone who competed in the 2018 High Yield Challenge and good luck in the 2019 challenge.